So we're going to open it up to the audience, but first let me get the ball rolling. Can you talk about um, kind of the design of the phone, because it seems to be very meticulously kind of uh, kinetically planned out, and uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Can you talk about that? I wish I could say that was the case. Um, not necessarily. Um, well, I mean, there, there were certain things we had to do. We had to bring rats with us to San Francisco. We had to bring um, a bunch of uh, uh, pipe so we could, you know, take some stuff. But uh, other than that, I mean, stylistically, it was, you know, a small cruise. It was stealing a lot of shots, unpermitted stuff, obviously. Um, yeah. Were you guys planning out the shots in advance? Was it a storyboard, or was it sort of just getting getting what you can on the fly and then figuring it out later, making it all work together? I, I would say parts of it were storyboarded for sure. Um, but you know, once you get into the film, uh, there's just so much that uh, that you see that changes. You know, we're reviewing footage daily, obviously, and and uh, just making adjustments on the fly and kind of backing into it and seeing what happens. Uh, Anyone have any questions here? Uh, what May I have one? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, could you describe the experience, like you said, stealing shots and just like on the streets, around people, in the subway? What was that like? And just having a camera, were people like looking in the camera all the time? Yeah, New Year's, San Francisco. I mean, keep it, bear in mind, this was in the Tenderloin, San Francisco. So, I mean, we literally were getting mobbed. I mean, we, I had a full steady cam on and I was just getting bombarded from all sides. But as far as like stealing subway stuff, we would literally be, you know, we'd be two steps in front of security and riding and reversing and then riding again and, and maybe riding the next stop down, which would change our whole look and where we'd planned on shooting and, you know, just anarchy stuff, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? What's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't really have a question. The music was great. Thank you. Yeah, Shroff's the job. Really she killed it. Was really, really good. No, I, I thought it was bad. I just noticed it, that it really enhanced the feel of where we were in the tunnel and with all, with the rats and everything. The music. That's him driving. vocally as well. That was oh, wow. great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right there. Um, had you already written the music prior to the film being made, or did you write it specifically for the movie? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just I'll lead into it. I. I was temping it with Radiohead, and um, I, I kind of gave him this droning sort of pacing. It was spinning plates. It was sort of our template for that. And then uh, Josh. Yeah, I conceptually the music is something I'd conceived of before he'd come to me, but it was a, it was really some motifs in development, and so I literally created or finished it off, you know, based on the. I, I can't really say there's a storyline in the film, but just. The visuals and just the idea of having this uh, this guy that you you see in one light at the beginning of the film and you see in a different light and so you know the, the lyrics I created uh, were, were kind of based on what I what that invoked in me and as far as the sound of it yeah it was it was timed off of what was it spinning plates spinning plates and so it was you know the the chordal progression of the music something that I had created but I completely revamped it to to make it work for the film so the film was very much responsible. It was more like scoring yeah. at the time when I got that. So I pretty much scored the film with some material that I had. <laughs> What's next for you guys? Yeah, oh, sorry. Where did that inspiration at the end come from with the baby? And, you know, <coughs> well, you I'm glad you asked that because with yeah, me, cool. with me, you know, a feature allows you to have this sort of full coda and like this full through line and arc. Or as a short, it's, it's just a different, it seems like it's a different craft altogether. So I almost treated it more like a social experiment. My goal was to get you to judge this guy from the outset and just make make some assumptions and then just see how that played out. So, yeah. Yeah, And what are you guys working on now? Um, you can go to yoohootv.com. You can see some rough cuts of some stuff. We, we just shot um, two amazing break dancers out in the middle of the salt flats having an exchange and one was an alien one was in space costume it's called universal language and so we're just kind of you know trying to get in the game cool all right thanks so much guys yep